painting is haunted. I'm almost positive that it's a haunted painting. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. So the other day, it's Halloween, right? And Andrew and I are at the antique shop like we always are. Um, it's basically our second home because we live there. Um, but anyway, we're just, you know, cruising through the booths and I happen to notice this painting. It's this painting of this old house. And I point it out to him and I say, I like this painting. He says, oh, you just like that painting because you'd like to metal detect that house. And I said, you're done straight, I would. Metal detect the crap out of that house. Above the door, it says 1719. Of course I don't. Um, but anyway, we just kept going and didn't really think anything of it. <laughs> and later that night, I'm going through my news feed on Facebook and all these people have their pictures of their kids posted in their Halloween costumes, you know. Um, meanwhile, my kid refused to wear his Halloween costume at the Halloween parade at school. Only kid not wearing a Halloween costume. <laughs> so I'm going through all these Halloween costume pictures and then there's this house. This photograph of this house that just appears in my news feed. And that's not just any house, it's the house. It's a photograph of the house from the painting that I saw earlier that day in the antique shop. And right above the door, it says 1719. It's the same exact house. I have no idea how it got in my newsfeed. It just appeared there. It's a photograph. And um, it was posted by the Hans Herr Museum. <laughs> so I say to Drew, but there's a photo of the house in the painting on my news feed right now. And I show him in the, I show him my computer and he looks at it and he looks at the name and he says, I'm related to Hans Her. <laughs> so we go back the next day and we go straight to the booth and we buy the painting. And it's sitting in the house right now and I'm almost positive that this stupid painting is haunted and I can't even go in the house without looking at it and being and like set it outside and like put it in the car and it can live in the car and just out of the house. The painting is haunted. I'm almost positive that it's a haunted painting. But anyway, um, I think that this weekend we're actually gonna take a trip over to the Hans Herr Museum in Lancaster. It, sound, it looks like Lancaster, but if you're in Pennsylvania, you pronounce it Lancaster. Um, we're gonna go there this weekend and maybe check it out and see what it's all about. Maybe bring the painting back there and leave it there. Maybe we'll leave the painting there. Then I don't have to deal with the haunted painting anymore because I'm pretty sure it's a haunted painting. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was a really cool story to actually like see the painting and then just connect the dots via Facebook and this random photo that just appeared on my newsfeed. How creepy is that? Especially on Halloween, you know? It's just like a Halloween haunted photo picture. Very cool. Anyway, um, I was gonna type this all out in a blog post and I'm like, I'll just make a video because it's way quicker and stuff. So, all right, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.